so good morning. Um, awesome. Thank you for joining me live. Okay, so I've got two screens going here so that I can do some brainstorming and um, type it out with you uh, so that you can see kind of, and we can make notes as we go along. Um, and we want to take a guess as to what the topic was that was chosen. Da, 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 da. Drum roll. I'm going to make a drum roll. Okay. General animal studies. Here we go. All right. So that's exciting. And actually, um, that's the one we'll be primarily following uh, through the learn along and we'll be creating a unit for that. So, you know, we're going to be sourcing things about how to study animals with different ages and stages of homeschooling. So that's very exciting. However, um, I'm also going to be doing cooking with my family. So I'm going to do the brainstorming for both of those topics here this morning. And then um, I'll be doing primarily following the general animal studies um, as we go through the learn along. And then, um, but I'll be throwing in some of the stuff that we're doing with the cooking as we go through, okay? So if you're joining me live, let me know you're here. And um, you need to give the StreamYard uh, app permissions to see you so that I can see your comments. And then we will um, let me know what ages you are hoping to do this unit with, okay? So. By way of introduction, my name is Lainey Isley. I'm the founder of the Triangle Homeschool Resource Center. I've been homeschooling for um, 12 years now. So my oldest is a junior. He probably won't be doing too much of this learn along with us. Um, he has his own kind of work to do to kind of finish up some high school stuff and dual enrollment and all that stuff. My freshman is 14 um, my daughter so she's very excited about learning about cooking not as excited about animal studies but that's the way it goes when you're learning as a family right we do as much as we can all together i also have a preschooler so he's four um just starting to learn you know what this school stuff all looks like although we've been learning along since he was gosh i don't know um, learning letters since he was nine months old, sitting in the bathtub with foam letters. So it's kind of the way we embrace learning in our house. And um, that's kind of why I'm kind of opening up um, a door into what we do. It's different than your traditional textbook learning. Uh, we've done, you know, especially the last few years, really a lot of it from the very beginning. Um, so, you know, some tips and tricks for people who are looking to do that. So let's dive in. I'm going to uh, open a Google Doc here. Um, let's see. There we go. Except that. All right. So. Hmm. All right. So there. Now you'll be seeing the Google Doc and probably not me, which is not really okay. All right, so I'm going to open a new document, um, and this will be my brainstorming sheet for general animal studies. Um, let's start there, and then we'll talk about cooking. So, why uh, general animal studies? So, um, the topics I put out for everybody to choose from came from you know a discussion with my kids. What are they interested in? What did they want to learn about? What haven't we learned about a whole lot in our homeschool? And what do we need to cover at this stage um, in their schooling? So um, my youngest is actually, I don't know, probably can't hear in the background. I hope you can't hear in the background, but he's watching the Wild Crap television show right now. And that is his favorite thing, our creatures and animals. And he wants to be a creature adventurer someday. So um let's see um so if i wanted to start with general animal studies so my big thing about um and this is absolutely a live 
in-person train of thought kind of brainstorming session. Um, I did not do a whole lot of this work ahead of time. Although honestly, I was so excited for today. I did have a little bit of a hard time falling asleep last night, thinking about how awesome this was gonna be. So general animal studies, where would I start? So what is the first thing I think of when I'm thinking about a unit? It's like, what traditional subjects does this fall into? Um, so you're gonna have to uh, excuse my terrible typing, but so typically this falls under kind of a biology, um, general science. Um, is there a history to it? Maybe if we work in um, paleontology and that kind of thing. Um, so uh, of course we can work in math, um, writing, literature, um, but traditionally, you know, animal studies is going to fall in your um, biology type of uh, a study. So um, how am I going to attack it? How am I going to kind of approach it with my kids? So I'm dealing with a ninth grader and a preschooler. So obviously this is a very different kind of um approach between the two of them. So with my youngest, um, I'm going to start thinking about him because, you know, it takes us back to basics. Uh, what does he want to know? What does he need to know? And then how do I um, make that age appropriate for the older student? Okay. So starting with the youngest, i um, going to be thinking about um, habitats. Um, animal classifications um let's see what else anybody let's um crowdsource some ideas let me know what you're thinking what would you how would you approach classifying animal studies so i could share my screen a little bit better but that makes it really small um but this way i can see you and my document okay <laughs> there we go. All right. So um, animal classifications, what else would we um, study? So under, so we could start with habitats. Um, I want to work in, I always want to work in literature. Um, and the first thing that comes to mind, I just, you know, when I'm brainstorming, it's literally just brainstorming. So I'm just, whatever I'm thinking about, um, I'm going to make a list. So the Jungle Book comes to mind. It's a classic. It applies. It's a great study for the older. Um, oh, life cycle. That's excellent. Yes. Life cycle. Um, life cycle. Uh, let's see. Um, environmental impacts. That's kind of a um, big thing, especially for the older student. We definitely would be covering some ecology versus getting off into other subjects. Okay, so literature, back to Jungle Book. Um, so Jungle Book is a great study for older students, but it's also entertaining for the younger one. Um, so we'll probably cover that. Oh yeah, food, food webs and food chains, right? Food bombs and food chains. Um, that's a pretty good, you know. So, okay, so we can add to that as we go along. Food webs and food chains. Um, any other literature that we think of in terms of um, animals? So, I have a couple of books that I'm going to use. as sources, uh, not sources in terms of like, so if I was doing a history study, if, we, if I was doing um, American history, I might pick an American history anthology um, as a spine and work out of that. And then I would brainstorm from there as to what I can add in, um, what themes I could cover. So 
being them working with animals, I could start with, especially with the older one, maybe with the biology textbook. Um, there are um, apologia curriculum. It's a Christian-based curriculum, but it has, you know, starts with the very young animals of, of whatever day um, of creation. So it kind of follows creation story. Um, okay, yeah, bre breeding. <laughs> reading reproduction yeah um part of life cycle but no i know what you mean that's so yeah animal classification right yeah we're going to talk about the big families of animals i was trying to brainstorm those last night and thinking i need to refresher <laughs> on what all those are so this you know we're learning right along with the kids um so anyway as i said books sources i might pull some curriculum but i have um, I like to work literature in, especially for the younger kids, um, because you want, you know, fun stuff to go along with, um, with the serious stuff. And this is a way to really create a, a unit study um, where it encompasses kind of all of the subjects. So literature is really important to work in there. So, um, like I said, Jungle Book, but I also have... Um, trying to think um like the read aloud handbook probably I don't I can't remember if there's lists of books in there or not but possibly the read aloud handbook um it's totally escaping right me right now I have some literature anthologies so um I'll take a look at those um okay so so how do we tackle it? So um, what kind of, so we can start thinking about what types of projects could we do? Um, and that's one thing that I like to think about when I'm starting to plan a unit. The other is what questions do my kids have about the subjects and you know how do we pursue answers to those questions? So in terms of um, questions, how do we um, classify animals? Um, how do they interact? Um, what else? Um, how do we interact with them? Uh, you know, all those kinds of things. Where do they live? Where do we find them? Um, what animals exist in an environment. And ideally, I'd have them sitting there with me asking questions, talking through this. Um, so next time, we will definitely do it that way. And it'll be a little more interactive. So what animals, um, what kind of projects? So we could do an animal research project. Um, we could write a picture book. Um, about a particular animal, we could, um, dioramas, always popular when studying animals, right? Um, dioramas, or what are those things called? Shadow boxes, those kind of things. Um, so what I'm planning, what I'm planning to do, what I'm thinking about doing for my preschooler, especially, whoops, sorry about that, um, is a... Uh, animal notebook. So um, with my oldest, when he was four and obsessed with dinosaurs, we made a dinosaur notebook. So we classified them as herbivores and carnivores, and I kept it really simple, um, and omnivores, obviously, Oops. Um, and uh, made a notebook classifying, talking about dinosaurs, we'd find one of each classification every week and um then we would um look it up research it make notes about it put it in a notebook so that's what i'm planning to do with my preschooler um so the uh what else shoot some ideas at me what would you want to know what would you want to cover 
in a unit study. So in the animal notebook, we're going to, um, I'm going to start with habitats. Um, we're going to define, um, I think, I think this is just the brainstorming. So we'll see how this pans out when I start looking for resources. So we're going to find the habitats, um, pick four to six animals per habitat and, um, and research those animals. So this is a really kind of simple way to just dive into it. So this is where we'll start. Usually that leads to more questions, more ideas. And as we dive in, um, we kind of, uh, you know, think about that. So another um, project could be a visual food web for a particular habitat. My youngest is always talking about, you know, predators at the top of the food chain. In their habitats so he would be really interested in that anything i can add on for the older students so um so i'm going to um this is kind of my to do we do research um high school level themes So we might talk a little bit about um, anatomy uh, down to the cell level of bones, blood, skin, um, you know, things that come to mind is the difference between, so these are like little details, but difference between hair and fur. Um, tusks and horns, or antlers and horns, not tusks, tusks. Um, <laughs> antlers and horns, you know, things like, um, these little details that make a difference on a cellular level, on, um, an anatomical level that <clears throat> we can dive deeper into for the older student. Okay, so that's my animal study brainstorming sheet. Now, I'm also going to um, tackle cooking. So in cooking, how do we brainstorm? And All right, whoops. <laughs> Put that in the wrong place. Um, so let's see, let's just let's get a couple of spaces here. All right, so to brainstorm for cooking, of course we've got, you know, measurements. Where do we start with the basics? Um, food groups, nutrition, uh, budgeting, meal plan. Start with the basics, you know, the how to boil water thing. <laughs> um, but this lends itself to other good studies. So cooking is not something we think of as a traditional subject. So this is one, you know, I wanted to kind of dive quickly into the brainstorming on here, this, because it's a little different in that how we pull the traditional subjects or how we think about how we classify the learning here. So, um, for example, when I say start with the basics and I talk about how to boil water, um, you know, we're talking about science and physics. Um, chemistry plays a part into it. How do you get it to boil faster? You know, why do we add salt? Or what happens, I guess. Um, so these are kind of the basic questions maybe we take for granted as adults. Um, um, what happens when we add salt, uh, those kind of things. So what else? Um, uh, physical changes in food when we cook. So this is something that, um, 
you know, take, take, for example, the difference between, you know, poaching versus roasting versus um, grilling. Um, how does method? Um, my brother's really into sous vide stuff. So um, how does cooking method affect the uh, physical changes? Um, so I'm going to leave a little more space here. So you can look at this. So this, like, just the questions just start to tumble out. Like, think about what we do when we cook. Um, how do flavors change and why? Um, what happens? We have acid base combinations, right? Um, and this is all just basic cooking, not even baking. Um, we can think about the chemistry of baking. So this obviously lends itself much e more easily to um, the older students. So here's my preschool. We're going to be talking about animal studies. Are you excited to learn about animals? Yes. Yes. And do some cooking too. We're going to learn about cooking. Yes. What do you want to learn about cooking? I don't know. You don't know yet. Okay, so we'll figure that out. But um, so we have the chemistry behind baking. Um, we have the mathematics of measurement, right? So that's easy. Um, what kind of projects? Um, you know. The projects might be coming up with a recipe, um, meal planning, um, budget planning. Okay, let me hop back over. I'll look at comments for a second. So, any ideas um, regarding cooking? So, as I said, this lends itself to a lot of different um, subjects. Is there literature involved in? learning about cooking is there um let's see it would be fun to kind of look into um maybe historical recipes definitely things have changed right i have some of my great grandmother's recipes this is i'm gonna not shake the table there for me buddy um some of my great grandmother's recipes sound different then the way we abbreviate things, the way we classify, you know, what we call powdered sugar or whatever. In some recipes, 10x sugar, 4x sugar, it may be different things. I honestly don't even know. I use the same thing when it says that in her recipe. So historical recipes would be interesting to look into. Um, we might be able to kind of tie it into our animal studies. Um, By looking at foods um, we can get from the land, you know, what is closest to nature in a particular environment. Um, basically, if you were a survivalist or what have you in a particular environment, what would you be able to forage? Forage, that's the word I was looking for. Um, <laughs> and then we could do... Um, recipes around the world as we look at these different habitats and where they are in the world. Um, and that leads itself, you know, lends itself to geography and cultures. Uh, so, you know, like I said, cooking is, you want to learn how to cook. There's a lot that goes into that. So I just kind of wanted to cover that briefly because you could go on forever. Um, so one of the things I wanted to highlight in um you know kind of brainstorming these two different subjects is that while we think of animal studies as being so very broad um we can really kind of make it narrow <laughs> um in that you know there are certain things that we learn about all animals but when you look at something like cooking which we think of as maybe a little more narrow in separated from, sorry for all the bounciness, this table just kind of goes as soon as you bump it. Um, we think of kind of narrow in terms 
of how we would treat it. You know, you just get in the kitchen and you cook, but really it's broader and you could go and go and go um, with either of these topics. So, and some of it depends on our own background mm. and our own expertise. I'm much more comfortable in the kitchen than I am say backstage at a zoo <laughs> or, um, you know, behind the scenes in a zoo. I so, great, great. Oh, we have some jokes. Okay, hold on. Okay, we'll do that next time. But so that's that. So that is the brainstorming. Um, thank you so much for joining me to check it out. I hope this gives you some ideas. We'll be following along, as I said, primarily with the animal studies. We're gonna be what are some animals you want to learn about? Giraffes. Giraffes. What else? Lemurs. Lemurs. These are not the animals I expected to hear about. What else? Hmm. Maybe hmm. sharks. Sharks. Orcas. Orcas. Yeah. So maybe that's my next step. We'll make a list of animals, think about classifications and um, habitats, and we'll go from there. But uh, I'll be do doing a daily diary in our Triangle Homeschool Resources Village community. So there, you can still join that at any time. Um, I will drop the link in the comments as soon as I get off the video and get back into my regular Facebook screen. Um, definitely continue to drop ideas if you are catching the replay and ask any questions that you have and we'll okay, respond and I will see you I will see you later this week and next um, Monday uh, at 10 a.m. again we'll have our kind of next session where we actually dive into how we're going to plan a week around this so the rest of this week i'll be gathering sources and materials i'll stop in at some point in time later in the week to share that with you and um next monday we'll talk about how we actually go about planning a week when we're doing a unit study and how do we plan our days sorry again for the shaky um <laughs> shaky cam so and um We'll see you then. All right. Thank you so much for participating. If you are in the Triangle Homeschool Resource Village, I will be sharing a link to this um, document and we'll do some collaboration, some brainstorming, continue in that document. So I hope to see you there and I'll see you later this week. Thanks everybody. Have a great week.